Fire Signs, Capricorn Virgo Taurus Collectively, how are you guys? Welcome back to Hadia K. You're with Hadia K. <laughs> I said welcome back. You're with Hadia, okay? You're with Hadia K, guys. You guys can be very jokey at this time. I don't know. Y'all really silly. <laughs> All right, so Capricorn Virgo Taurus. I'm doing um, uh, the next 24 to 48 hours for Capricorn Virgo Taurus collectively, guys. All right? If you guys are interested... In my one-on-one -on -one personal readings, they are open. Feel free to also turn on the notification, like, share, subscribe, and share this information with anyone that you know that might need this insight, guys, all right? I'm welcoming God, Mother, Father, Holy Spirit in this space at this time. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, collectively, let me see what's going on, guys. All right, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, collectively. What information do I have at this time? I'll take that spirit. Thank you. All right. Okay. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, okay? So you guys are definitely standing up for what you believe in, okay? You guys are very um, wise, okay? You guys have a lot of... You guys are using your intellect as well as your experiences to get you to where you need to, okay? You also know which way you want to go. You're not going to let nobody budge you, and you're not going to allow anyone to try and stray or stray you from where you know you need to be. So I definitely see that there is um, a relationship that may not be working out. This can be a divine, feminine, divine. This can be like a twin flame, someone that you may have met two months, two weeks, ago here i feel like it's not working out you guys are not seeing eye to eye i do see that there's a need for you to cut off something but you guys but you or someone else may not be wanting to cut off of it cut off it may be resisting change or resisting cutting something off the devil talks about something toxic so this can be a habit okay this can be um a sexual relationship here or some type of codependent relationship the devil also talks about capricorn energy so capricorn you guys are showing up so i definitely see that you guys are needing to um you guys are showing up knowing that you guys need to cut off something, a person, a situation, or this is just, like I said, a habit, okay, overindulgent in something, codependent on something. But I do see the star card. So I definitely see that you guys are getting your wishes fulfilled over the next 24 to 48 hours, okay? So after seeing that something isn't working out or after seeing that you might have an attachment or someone might be uh, codependent or attached to you, I do see that your wishes are still being fulfilled. There might be some type of deception with communication, someone trying to get over on you with something here. Just as I feel like there's... um. Just as a fair decision is being made in the world card, I feel like things are happening the way that it needs to. I do feel like someone might be being toxic towards you, okay? I feel like you might have been in a toxic relationship for two, more than two years, okay? More than two months, okay? I feel like the world card is things are happening the way that it needs to. Divine timing is stepping in because someone is scared on moving forward. If someone is scared on resisting change or resisting some type of new energy here, um, like I said, someone is resisting the new energy and there's an unknown card. So unknown situations are happening because someone is still stuck to a situation or feeling stuck to a situation and they're needing to listen to their intuition. The high priestess can also be receiving divine downloads from um, a tarot card reader such as um, such like myself. The high priestess also talks about the unknown. So I feel like someone could be feeling trapped or stuck to stuck to um stuck to a situation like stuck okay i feel like someone could be feeling stuck to a certain situation with a person here or this can be gossip someone can be gossiping about you around you here because you're listening to your intuition the high priestess okay this is someone with the, the god goddess energy okay the high priestess is someone that's into the occult spell work candle work that does a lot of um yeah that's into the occult okay so i definitely see that maybe I feel like someone could have been someone. Someone needs. Someone may be needing to listen to their intuition here about a situation, or they're listening to their intuition about a situation here, and that might be why reason why why someone is stuck up in their head. Okay, stuck up in their head about a situation, but I feel like they're releasing some type of my way or no way, trying to control a situation. Someone is just letting something happen. Okay, so I do see that an offer that's coming towards them. Someone could be denying the offer, or or or. Someone could be trying to create something that's going to be beneficial for themselves here, okay? And I feel like whatever offer that was, it's like a waiting game because the offer is like 
whoever this is, whoever's trying to, let me see something. All right, so earth signs, I feel like after, okay, so I feel like honestly, you guys have been going through relationships that's really not um, healthy or not beneficial. They can be toxic, sexual, codependent, okay? I do see that you guys are turning a new leaf. So you guys are somebody's wishes fulfilled. Someone is looking to you as a star. You could be in a limelight. You could be a celebrity as well. Um, or you guys can be growing on that ladder of being successful, being abundant, being a star, okay? Being in a limelight. Someone, I feel like there's also deception. So like I said, someone can be trying to get over on you when it comes to money, when it comes to, um, a certain situation where you may have felt stuck or you may have felt stuck with this person I do feel like you might be needing to listen to your intuition here okay or you're needing to listen to intuition you're needing to listen to your intuition or book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me here because maybe some of you guys are resistant to change or resistant of this new energy the unknown card I feel like um, it happens because you guys are up at up at night insomnia okay can't go to sleep but I do feel like you guys are trying to release um, judgment or you guys are trying to release of having to control a situation here and like I said it's a waiting game because you guys may have been waiting for something the Empress Libra Taurus energy pregnancy okay so I feel like if you guys are not trying to get not trying to conceive here yeah okay so if you guys are not trying to conceive I definitely see that um, you know wear protection because I definitely see that someone can definitely be pregnant okay finding out that they're pregnant this is a Libra Taurus or someone can be coming towards you saying that you're pregnant you can be finding out that someone around you is pregnant here okay I definitely see that there's plans that um things are being revamped things are being redone the six of pentacles I feel like something that have to do with a car I mean you might be having car troubles or something to do with a car is what I'm hearing like towing okay I do feel like something something to do with a tire or a rod here okay the nuts and bolts in a car or a truck okay I do feel like someone is um releasing this deception or trying to be harsh or or like that that type of energy they're not they don't have time for it and I feel like it opens up new doors new opportunities new situations because of this pregnancy so I feel like because of you um, capitalizing off of your talents, you pushing forward in your talents as well, or you not giving up in your talents. Maybe you felt like you, you don't know if you should do A, B, and C, and it's like, or maybe you feel like you should, you don't know if you're good enough. And the Empress is here, like, you are good enough. You're the Empress. Hello. Like, and it's like Ace of Wands, a new opportunity or a new um a new start comes for you or comes towards you here, okay? And I feel like you're having to cut off communication with people that are not balanced or not harmonious for your life so like i said capricorn virgo Taurus, this is a major change um if you guys have been wondering if you guys are pregnant or maybe you guys may have been um wondering if someone around you is pregnant here this is a yes i do see that you guys may be finding out between one one and okay one um so 11 11 one 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 is significant okay seven so I feel like conflicts that you guys are going through, you guys are having to listen to your intuition. I do feel like this might also be someone that's a star that's pregnant, okay? Or this can be someone that looks to you as a star. They're wanting to get you pregnant here. Um, you could be definitely dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? Or you can have this in the chart. But the person that's pregnant or the person that is capitalizing off of their... Uh, talents here I definitely see Libra and Taurus energy so I honestly feel like overall Capricorn Virgo Taurus this is a major healing um, a major healing read this is a major loving read I feel like those of you that have been wondering if this this person loves you or this person wants something new I definitely see that there's a need for there's a need for someone to really release the old and walk into the new someone might be also fearful of being a mother fearful of being um like i said yeah fearful of being in, in fearful of being pregnant fearful of being in the limelight okay but i honestly feel like i just got i just got chills Whew. I just got chills. So I honestly feel like whatever this is, this is some type of confirmation. All right. Don't be scared about being becoming a mother. Don't be scared about becoming successful. All right. Move forward as well. Move forward gracefully. All right, guys. This is amazing read. I definitely feel like um, money can be coming towards you. People can be uh, definitely wanting to wanting your services, your products. Okay. 
I'm getting um, nails, feet, eyebrows, facials. Some of you guys can be having to do, uh, like I'm getting cooking or something to do with uh, spiritual. Okay, like healing. All right. Spirit, thank you. Thank you. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. What information do I have at this time? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Collectively. All right. I'm going to take those four. A lot of intuition cards. So, you guys are definitely being guided by your intuition here. Okay, so you have the Eight of Raphael. There's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So you guys are definitely going on a, a spiritual journey. You guys are also um, asking yourself, or could be asking other people, looking for a deeper meaning in life, wanting to find um, a deeper meaning in life. Okay, like I said, you guys can be doing a one-on-one -on -one reading with me to go a little bit deeper. You guys also know that in order for you to find fulfillment, you guys may need to walk around alone. Or this might be a spiritual journey where you're having to uh, go on a quest here. Take action the way that you need to. Listen to listen to your intuition. Okay, you being you are being angelically guided to move forward in a fast motion. This can also be fast communication. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, emails. Check your phone calls. People can be reaching out to you to get your services here. And you're having to look at your life in a new perspective here and take a leap of faith. Okay, take a leap of faith when it comes to your life. Look at things from a different perspective on how you want to capitalize off of your talents, how you're wanting to be abundant. When it comes to this pregnancy, when it comes to this children, when it comes to this relationship here, have a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith in where you feel like it's beneficial for you. Listen to your heart. The leap of faith is a start over card. So you guys can be starting something over in business, starting something over. Like I said, this is a birth. This is definitely starting something over because you guys are rebirthing yourself. You guys are receiving solutions or success because you guys are listening to your intuition. You guys are being guided. You guys are listening to the angels or your archangels or people around you that is helping you. Okay, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, okay, and making choices that's going to be beneficial for you when it comes to a relationship. So I feel like you're taking a leap of faith when it comes to a relationship. You're taking a leap of faith when it comes to solving some type of issue. Um, issue with the relationship you're taking a leap of faith when it comes to um having this person in your corner because you see into them they see into you this is a deeply um deeply committed relationship here okay the lovers six talks about the womb so i definitely feel like there might be there's definitely a, a new a different perspective when it comes to this relationship when it comes to taking a leap of faith when having children or um finding out about a uh, relationship Finding out about a relationship, a deeper, a deeper commitment, finding out that you guys are connected on a spiritual level here. OK, finding out that you're needing to take a leap of faith when it comes to your decisions here. OK, because there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fire. You see that? And there's an angel. There's an angel. OK, there's an angel in back of this connection and um, back of this union. So you guys are definitely guided. All right. This is guided. You guys are meant to have this child. OK, you guys are meant to have this child or look at things from a different perspective. You guys are meant to take a leap of faith when it comes to the direction of your life. OK, so that you could capitalize off of your talents or be more hopeful. OK, and not think that things are not for you because everything is for you is for you. All right. So I definitely see that this journey, this spiritual journey that you guys are on is very enlightening. You guys are definitely seeing new situations. You guys can be finding out about a close friend or someone around you being pregnant or you can be pregnant at this time um from like i said this could be a gemini this can be a capricorn virgo taurus this can definitely be a scorpio cancer pisces aries leo sagittarius anybody anybody any sign can be in here butterflies are your confirmation okay flowers are your confirmation as well and your archangels are listening to you via animals okay you guys can also be seeing 444 so there's changes you're having to like take a leap of faith when it comes to um your perspective on children on creativity on your home environment as well so this is amazing i definitely see that there's karmic situations that you guys are um the aid of Raphael. there's karmic situations like i said that have to do with relationships that has to do with children you guys are moving forward forward is what i'm hearing you guys are moving forward and doing what you need to i say guys i love you like i love myself